Hi, welcome back to my story time with Nana. I have a whole new story of the markets and their little pig family. I'm very excited. I'm so glad you're here. I can't wait. Let's begin. Off to market, chapter three. I have a surprise for you, Mama said, pouring breakfast into the pig's trough. Did you hear that? Ollie said to Oakley. Mama has a surprise. I bet it's something great. I bet it's something delicious. Papa's going to bring it home today, Mama told them. Hmm. I guess it's nothing to eat, Ollie said solemnly. Oh, Ollie, not everything is about eating, Oakley scolded. I'm sure it's something we're going to love. And besides, we have plans today, remember? Oh, yeah. We're taking Otis and Olivia swimming today. Olivia and Otis were a few months old now and getting bigger every day. They each had their own personality. Olivia was independent, sassy, and loved to talk. She was Daddy's little girl. Otis, he was very laid back, quiet, did whatever he was told, and he was the best boy. He loved his mama. Otis, Olivia, Oakley called out. Time for your swimming lessons. Otis and Olivia came running from the barn, Olivia talking a mile a minute. Otis, hurry up. We're going swimming today. I hope you remember to hold your breath this time. Don't swallow a lot of water. You know, remember the last time. Now, when we get to the wading pool, remember, you want to float on your back this time. I mean, I'll help you. I love swimming, don't you? Otis followed along quietly. It was best not to interrupt his sister. Oakley, Ollie, and their babies ran to the wading pool. It was going to be a hot one today. Don't stay too long. Papa will be home soon with your surprise, Mama called after them. The pig family got into the wading pool, and Ollie showed Otis and Olivia the way he liked to get in the pool. A big old belly flop. He then showed the babies how to float, and Oakley reminded them to hold their breath when they were going under the water. And this time, Otis didn't swallow any water. He was a good rule follower. The pig family loved swimming, and now that Otis and Olivia were getting better at swimming, they spent a lot of time at the wading pool. Papa's truck pulled into the driveway as they were finish up their, finishing up their swimming lessons. They stood at the side of the waiting pool watching Papa back in. There was a cage in the back of the truck. Papa got out and lowered the tailgate. The pig family could hear squealing coming from the cage. What do you think Papa brought home? Ollie asked Oakley. Sound like another pig. We don't need another pig, Ollie exclaimed. There's four of us already. Mama said Papa was bringing us a surprise, Oakley said. Maybe it's another pig to join our family. Papa opened the cage and suddenly a baby pig jumped from the tailgate, rolled on the ground and ran to the barn squealing. Just like Ollie and Oakley had done the first day they arrived at the market farm. Oh my, Oakley cried. I bet he's as scared as we were when we first got here. Mommy, should we go to the barn and see if he's okay? Otis asked. Yes, I, I think that's a good idea, she answered. Now children, when we go into the barn, try not to startle him. He may be very afraid right now. Let's try to make him feel safe. Ollie and Oakley and Otis and Olivia walked to the barn and entered very quietly. The new pig was nowhere to be found. Hello, Olivia called out. You're safe here. 
we're your friends. Yeah, come on out, Otis spoke. You don't have to be afraid. You're in a safe place. From behind the hay, they heard a little whimper. Hmm, how do I know you won't hurt me? I'm at the market, you know. Now, now, Oakley reassured. The markets take good care of us. Come on out, sweetheart. You're safe here, I promise. The little pig, not much bigger than Otis and Olivia, came out from behind the hay cautiously. He still wasn't sure he was safe. But the pig family seemed nice. And why would they lie to him? I mean, they were pigs, just like him, after all. Why, you're just a baby, Ollie said. Come over and meet our children. Olivia and Otis walked over to the new arrival. Hi, my name is Olivia. Sometimes Mama calls me Poo Poo or Livy. My name is Otis. Mama calls me Toads Magoads sometimes. I don't know why. What's your name? Bully, the little pig told Otis. Just Bully. Well, welcome to the Markets Farm, Bully. Oakley walked over to the little pig. You're going to love it here. I don't know, Bully whined. I was happy where I was. Well, we were too, Bully, Ollie consoled him. But we're happier here. You're going to love Mama and Papa. They treat us like our their very own children. This is a great place to live. Ollie nuzzled Bully to let him know he was in a safe place. Dinner time! Mama sang coming into the barn. Oh, I see you've all met Bully. Isn't he the cutest thing ever? She carried her bucket to the trough and poured the dinner in for her little pig family. Come and get it! Come on, Bully! Otis pushed Bully toward the trough. Mama makes the best dinners. Bully reluctantly walked over to the trough and sniffed the dinner. It did smell wonderful. He took a little bite. It tasted wonderful. This is delicious, he said, surprised. Y'all eat like this every day? We do, Olivia told him. Now, aren't you glad you ended up here? Mama and Papa love us so much, and now they have you to love too. Wow, I am one lucky pig. And that night, Oakley and Ollie and Otis and Olivia snuggled together in their fresh hay. And Bully found a spot for himself and snuggled in too. He lifted his head and looked over at the family all snuggled together and sighed. <sighs> he was feeling all alone. He tried not to cry. Bully, Olivia whispered. Come snuggle with us. You're part of our family now. It's okay, he said back. I'm fine over here. Don't be ridiculous. You're a market now. We do everything together, even sleep. Are you sure, Mommy, your Mommy and Daddy won't mind? He asked. Not at all, Oakley whispered back. You're my baby too. Come on over and snuggle in. Bully left his lonely spot and joined his new family. He snuggled in between Otis and Olivia and soon fell fast asleep. He was safe. He was full. He was happy. He was home. The next morning, Bully woke to the sound of Mama singing in the barn that it was breakfast time. Good morning, my babies. Come and get it. Oakley, Ollie, Poo Poo, Toads Mago, and my new baby Bully Bully. Time to eat. Bully lifted his head. Oh, I must really be part of the family now. I have a nickname, he thought. 
The pig family ran to the trough filled with Mama's delicious breakfast. and She had added eggs this morning, and it was so good. Mama gave each of her pigs a pat on the head. Okay, kiddos, I'm off to work. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you when I get home. Ollie, make sure you show Bully around today. Make him feel welcome. This is pretty amazing, Bully explained. We sure are a lucky pig family. We are, Olivia replied. Wait till you see everything we have here. We have a whole pasture to roam. This barn is just for us. And sometimes Mama hides snacks around for us to find while she's at work. And then sometimes Papa comes home in the afternoon and gives us a snack. I don't think he knows that Mama leaves us a snack. Hey, do you know how to take us go swimming? Olivia, Otis chided. Take a breath. I, I just wanted Bully to feel welcome, she responded. Mama said to make him feel at home. Well, I think sleeping with us made him feel welcome, he replied. Okay, children, Oakley soothed. We have all day to show Bully around and make him feel welcome. Bully smiled up at Oakley. Mm. He was going to love having her as his mommy. The pig family spent the day roaming the pasture, showing Bully everything. They showed them showed him their neighbor's farm. They have chickens, Olivia told him. I think that's where Mama gets her eggs. They took him to the wading pool, and Otis taught Bully how to swim. And Papa did show up midday and gave them a snack of sweet potato wedges. And when Mama came home from work, all of her little piggies ran to the fence to greet her. Oh, hello, my little piggies, she said, coming to the fence to pet each one. I sure did miss my, miss my babies today. I'll bet you're hungry. I'll get dinner ready for you. Hey, bully bully, did you have a good day? She said, giving him a pet. Bully snuggled close to the fence to let her know that he did indeed have a good day. And while the pigs waited for dinner, Bully found a small bale of hay and laid back and let the day's sinking sun bask his face. He couldn't believe his good fortune. He had a whole pasture to explore, a wading pool, all the food he wanted, a safe place to sleep. But more importantly, he had a family, his very own family. He was the luckiest pig alive. He smiled broadly. The end. Wow! Now the markets have five pigs. What kind of adventures are they going to get into next? I can't wait to find out. You'll have to come back next week to find out. I can't wait to see you then. Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to share my stories. Mwah.